question. I was thinking about something when I first woke up. Sorry, I'm a little nasally. Um, allergies are in full effect, especially with the weather jumping up and down. If you don't know if you should wear shorts, uh, snow boots, or snow boots with your shorts just in case, and a sun hat, like you just don't know. Um, so I was thinking about something. Sundays are absolutely reserved for self care. It just sounds cool. Um, it's absolutely reserved for self care. Sunday self care. A Saturday self care. Anything with an S should be self care. Um, however, something that is a huge part of self care. I don't think. I don't think. I don't feel that self care is just um just laying around eating strawberries <coughs> pardon me <clears throat> and i don't think it's just laying around eating strawberries i think it's also giving yourself enough space to dream like that's the perfect word it just popped into my head giving yourself enough space to dream, giving yourself enough space to say, this is what I desire. Um, so as you're, for me, that's what it does. Like self, self care allows me, <clears throat> and I'm sounding terrible. My bad. <laughs> Many apologies. Self care allows me the space to say, you know, I, I would like to see a book look like this. I would like to see a course look like this. I would like to see um, a client uh, have this type of success. I would like a relationship that's like this. I would like, you know, it, it allows me the space to dream. And so with that, instead of just dreaming during your self-care Sunday, self-care Saturday, I, I love it. I love it with an S. Um, you can have a self-care Thursday, but it just doesn't have a nice ring to it. Just call it self-care. I don't even put a name. Oh, I'm taking care of myself today. Um, however, a lot of people are really taking advantage of self-care Sunday or self-care Saturday. And so when these dreams and these desires start to come up, because you have space, now you're sitting, you're eating strawberries or chocolates. I can't do, I can't do a chocolate all day. I wouldn't be good for nobody afterwards. Um, you know, cooking or eating or whatever it is that you desire on your self-care day, write down the dreams that come up. Like, have a little, little, little note card. Have the affirmation journal. I'm plug um, next to you. So as they're coming up, you can write them down. That's the biggest thing. For me, like, use your Sunday evening. Not all day. I'm not giving you an assignment all day. Self-care is absolutely important. But take about 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes at the end or throughout to write down what's coming up. So if a, 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 a um, and I'm, I'm everything, when I start talking, everything started moving, uh, as far as my allergies and sinuses. <clears throat> but take a second to write down that business idea that came up. Like sometimes we think, like if we have a, a dream about a, a snowball stand in Antarctica, we think it's stupid. Who knows how many people in Antarctica dreaming of snowballs right now? <laughs> so whatever the, the desire is, whatever dream, whatever vision comes up, write it down. Like it's not coming up by accident. And use it to plan out your money moves. Like we have these great ideas that we just shun to the side when we're relaxing or taking a break. And then we realize years later that it could have been a, a very successful idea. So take the time to take your dreams and your desires very seriously. Don't just um don't just think that they're stupid or that they don't make sense or because they came up during self-care day that they're not important. So, you know, self-care day is one of my favorite. Um spa days, vacations, all of that. You know, with the amount of work that I'm doing, it's important for me to take time off. I also realized that those are the days when a lot of, I used to teach this course called executive thinking time because it's usually when you're at your uh, place of peace, you're, you're still, 
all of the really good ideas come up. Like you ever notice you're in the shower and you start saying like a, a problem you've been having for months. You're in the shower and it's like, ah, that is. Or a relationship that's not going well. It goes, ah, time to break up. Like <laughs> because you're quiet and you're still. Um, so use those, use those moments. Use those moments as your time also also, in addition to the care that you're giving yourself, to write out what it is that you, you're you dreaming of. Like when you wake up from your sleep and you keep having this same dream, but you just think it was in, in, indigestion or in, indigestion. Um, it's not something trying to, you know, like on a movie pilot. Some guy's trying to tell you something. Uh, that's an old one. You probably have no idea what it used to be my favorite movie back when I was young, I'm not going to put a, a year on it. Um, and so, you know, do that. It's important for you to do that. I know for me, and I mean, you already know. If you, you know anything about me, uh, you know that I believe in writing it down. And um, it's important. Like, And then it, it holds you accountable. Like when you write it down, it, it you can look back at it one and be accountable. And two, you could look back and say, um, wow, that really happened. And so it's just, it's important. Use your self-care days for self-care. If you don't even do self-care, it's time to start. Um, even if it's a half a day, even if it's a quarter of a day, even if it's just an hour in the morning, one day a week. However, also in addition to your self-care, start to, you know, Write those dreams and visions that come down because it's super, super important. So that is a lot of what I just.